everyone. Welcome to Write Out Back. This is a little nature-based curriculum that I've put together from my backyard. And today, I thought we could talk about roots. So I have a root here. And you can see it's from a small tree. And it's got all these neat roots coming out of it. A friend gave me this, and we have this in our classroom. We have a puzzle in our classroom also, and it's this one that shows the parts of a root. first part of the root that we're going to talk about is called the primary root. This says primary root. The primary root is this main part here that comes down from the trunk. That's called the primary root. Next is the secondary root. That would be the parts here that come out and come off. Those are called the secondary roots. They come off of the primary root. So this would be a secondary root. This would be a secondary root. Can you see those? The next part of the root are called the root hairs. Those are these little tiny roots that come off of that secondary root. And they do look like hairs. And then at the very end of those root hairs is something called the cap, the root cap. You can't really see these with your naked eye. You'd have to get a magnifying glass or something really, really strong to see a root cap. So those are the main parts of a root. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about sugaring because you all know that I tap maple trees and that we sugar. And something really important for maple sugaring is to wake up the sap that's down in the roots all winter long. And once that sap warms up, and that tree warms up, that sap starts to flow up the roots and up into the trunk of the tree. You have to have cold nights below freezing, and then you have to have warmer days, but not too warm. And that sap will start to flow up the trunk of that tree, and then you can tap that tree and the sap will come out. Now you don't take all the sap out of the tree, just take a little bit for sugaring and it keeps the tree healthy. It doesn't hurt the tree at all. But we'll talk more about sugaring in another lesson. I wanted to do some more root work with you. So I made this little book, this root book. And this is the main part that we're talking about are the roots. On the second page, it talks about two basic types of roots. The first type is called a, facilitate, a facilitated type of root, which is a fibrous type of root. And all of those roots are alike. And that's sort of like grass. So, oh, I lost the grass. If you look at a piece of grass, if you pull it up, on the ends are all these little tiny uh, little, they almost look like hairs, and those are the tiny roots. So that's that type of a root. The other type would be a tap root, and that descends deeply into the ground, and generally it produces branches off of it. So think about like an oak tree, or a flower, or even a bean plant, and that's this type of a root here. Not, it's unlike the grass root. Now, tap roots 
go down, they descend down in, but there's several different types of tap roots. So I thought we could talk about that a little bit and I could show you some of those. And I drew some pictures of those two main types of roots right here. And then on my next page, I talked about four different types of roots. One is called the tuberous root. Those are very fleshy and they're shaped like a tuber. And I actually found one in my garden and this is what it looks like. And you can see these tubers and then you can see the roots off of that and the root hairs. But that's a tuberous type of root. The next type is called a napa form. A napa form is um, kind of like a globe at the top. So more like a turnip or a beet. So here's the tuberous type and here's the napa form. And you can see it looks like a turnip or a beet. The next type is called conical. And that resembles a cone. So one end is usually larger than the other end. So this is that type right here. And then the last type is called a fusiform and that tapers towards each end. So the top is small and the bottom is small and in the middle is, is um, a little larger than both ends. And that would be like a, one of those longer type of radishes. You can see that shape right there. So I have another vegetable that we have here, and I wanted to show you this. Everybody's had these for snack or eaten these at dinner, and this is a carrot. And there's the main root there and some little other roots that come off and some root hairs. It has lots of root hairs on it. We usually don't eat this part. We, we take that off. And then, this is really neat. In this acorn that I picked up this morning on a walk, you can see right at the top a tiny little root is starting to grow out. And this was laying in the dirt like that. And this part is going to start to grow down and the rest will come up into the shoot or the stem. So there's a tiny little root forming. And then this is something you all maybe, if you grow corn in your garden, isn't this cool? Look at this root. And we cut these off in the fall and use them as decorations. We ate the corn. But then this is the part that's under the ground, this amazing root system you see here to hold that plant into the soil and also to get the nutrients out of the soil, soak up water and stay alive so that we can pick that corn when it grows to be full. There's kind of a neat thing we're going to put in your bags next time we do um, project bags for you and leave them out on a porch and this is what we're going to do with these really neat corn stalks. We're going to turn them upside down and we can pretend this is hair and then we're going to decorate this part and make a really cool art project. You can put, uh, you can color this in when it dries, put marker on it, you can put material over it, you can put little eyes here and make this really cool root kind of doll sculpture idea, which we thought would be really fun. I actually saw this idea done in the middle school a few years back and I thought it was so, so cool. I thought, I'm going to save all my roots from my corn and we can do that together as a project for all the children's house kiddos. So that will be coming in your next bag. So the last little part I have to show you is a tiny little pine tree that I pulled up this morning. I'm going to plant this later because I don't want this to die. But I wanted to show you this tiny little tree and how large the root system is already on this little pine tree. This is a white pine tree. They grow to be so tall. 
and they have such thick trunks. And here's a baby, a little baby pine tree. So that's our lesson today about roots. Hopefully in our next bag, I'll also have a little booklet like this that you all can make along with this art project and some other goodies that tell us all about roots. So when you go out for a walk with your parents, look around and see how many different types of roots you can see and see what they look like if you dig them up. Just make sure you put them back in the ground and plant them again so they can keep on living. Okay, everybody, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Right Out Back. Bye.